Now suppose we have to implement this priority queue using linked list. So the implementation of priority queue through the linked list is very simple. So let us suppose that this is the linked list which is actually behaving like the priority queue in which some of the elements are already there. Let's say 2 is here, 7 is here, 3 is here, sorry 13 is here and 15 is here. So once again the lower number is representing the higher priority. Let us say we have to insert element 1 in this linked list. Actually this is the priority queue which has been actually implemented through the uh, linked list. Uh, so let us say we have to insert a priority number 1. So priority number 1 is the highest priority and obviously it should be inserted at the beginning of this linked list. It means for the insertion of 1 I am actually calling the function insert beginning. Now suppose we have to insert the element 7. So 7 is the number which is representing lower priority than 1 so I will move ahead lower priority than 2 I will move ahead equal priority to 7 but since equal priority elements are treated in the first come first serve manner or first in first out manner so I will insert this 7 at this position so inserting at this position means I have to insert this 7 in between these two so the 7 is appearing after this okay now suppose I have to insert 17 so 17 is greater than then greater than this 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 so I will insert 17 after this node okay so if I suppose this uh, address of the first node is actually representing a start and uh, we have a function known as pq insert wherein the address of the first node is given and a priority number prn to, to be inserted I will first find out the appropriate position for the insertion for doing this operation let us suppose there is a p which is keeping the address of the first node and there is a q which is always null not always null initially null sorry so it is initially null i say that this p is at first node and q is its predecessor if p will be at the second node q will be here if q p will be at third node q will be at second node if p is at fourth node at third node there will be q so q is always the predecessor of p fine so we have to find out if prn is greater than or equal to the information of p i will upgrade this p pointer to the next node fine so p is equals to start it means p is at the first node and that q is equals to null means predecessor node which is initially null and while the info p this prn is prn is greater than or equal to info p i will update this p to the next node at the same time since i am moving this p to the second node I will move this Q to the first node such that Q always remains the predecessor of P. So before moving P, let us move Q. Fine. The moment I find that PR, PRN is not greater than, greater than or equal to the info of P, it means PRN is less than info of P. For example, in this linked list, let's say we have to insert 5. So I will start it from this. 5 is greater than info p. So p moves here and q here. 5 is greater than info of p. So p moves here and q here. And now since p, uh, th this 
5 is not greater than or equal to the information of P, I will stop my searching. I have found a place where should I insert. I should insert this 5 after Q. Okay. So once this loop has ended, I have a position where should I actually insert. So I have got a position insert after Q P R N. So after Q node I will insert this PRN. But there may be some of the cases wherein I do not I, I cannot insert the element at the uh, sorry after some node. For example, let's say this represents 2 and I have to insert this one. So I am in this loop. I have checked the information 1 with inform information of P. So 1 is obviously not greater than or equal to info of P. So I will have to come out of this loop. If I come out of this loop, Q is pointing nowhere. Q is null. So if Q is null, insert after Q PRN doesn't mean anything. So in fact, I will have to insert an element at the beginning now. So I will have to check the condition after this loop. If Q is null, if Q remains null, then I will actually insert in the beginning of this linked list PRN. So insert as a first node. Otherwise, insert after Q. Fine. Now suppose I have to insert 19. So 19 is greater than this, greater than this, greater than this, greater than this, greater than this greater than this node as well, greater than this node as well, greater than this node as well. It means suppose if P is here and Q is here, 19 is greater than this. So I will advance P to the next node. But before that, I am making this operation Q equals to P and then P equals to next P. The moment you make P equals to next P, P becomes null. So since P becomes null, this is the position where should I stop the searching? because there is there are no nodes from which I can make the comparisons now. So there should be a condition in the while loop that P is not null and PRN is greater than or equal to info P. If P becomes null, it means I should stop now. Fine. So here P, have become, P has become null. Even in this case, I have to insert this 19 after Q. So this is working fine. So this is the priority queue insertion. So I'll go for priority queue insertion wherein I have implemented the priority queue using the linked list. Now suppose I have to remove the element from the priority queue. It means I have I now have to give the service. So obviously the first node is having the highest priority. So first node will be the first one first node will be removed. So for the removal operation in the priority queue, first element has to got has to got removed. So let's say this is the algorithm for PQ remove. The parameters which are passed to this function are only the address of the first node. So let us remove the first element. I have a function let's say named as delete beginning this removes the first node and once we have removed this element return this element because we have made a practice of returning the deleted element fine so now let us analyze this algorithm obviously in this case we are performing the peak in, in the priority queue insertion we have to make the comparison and the maximum number of comparisons which may be required is equal to the number of elements in this linked list. So here the number of comparisons required in the PQ insert operation is order of n in the worst case. In the best case the, the insertion can take either in the beginning or after the first node. So in that case the complexity will be omega 1 the best case. For the removal operation always the complexity will be 
constant because I have to remove the first element always. No need to make any comparison. Just remove the first element. So the time complexity of removal operation is theta 1. So here we have achieved something. When we were actually inserting the uh, element in the link uh, in, in the priority queue using the array order of hand shifting was required and similarly for the removal also order of hand shifting was required so although we could not uh, have any improvement in the insert function as far as the complexity is concerned but we have got significant improvement in the removal function now all the removal function in the priority queue will happen in the constant time now